Hey, so I have always wanted to play with genetic algorithms, never took the time to do it, and finally took the time to throw together a quick uh, JavaScript genetic algorithm demo. Um, so the basic principle behind genetic algorithms is similar to um, the way animals reproduce and mix genes between the mother and father um, to make a new child that has common traits of the mother and father. And through evolution, those that are best at surviving and breeding are the ones that get to pass their traits on to their children. Um, and so genetic algorithms and software work a very similar way. Um, so initially we just create a random population. And this is a super simple example. All we're doing is our, our citizens of our population is just a random string. And what we're using for our scoring metric, remember in real life, in evolution, it's who's uh, who has the ability to breed the most or survive the most. In this case, it's whatever citizen is closest to the target string. So we just created an initial population. Now we're going to score them. And this is going to give us a score for each one of these random strings based on how many letters are correct. And just so happens that 10% of this string has letters in the right place. So next thing we're going to do is prune. We're just going to get rid of everybody or get rid of everyone except the top 10 strings and then we're going to breed and when we breed we are going to create a new child that has for each character is randomly selected from one of the parents doesn't matter which one mutation factor is two percent and that means that one out of every 50 characters instead of coming from a parent will be randomly selected so now we'll click on breed and here these color codes allow us to see the source of the text. So for instance, this D, because of its color, that probably came from this one right here. Oh, no, it looks like it came from this top one. And if it's white, it's random. So we can see this was a random character, this was a random character, this was a random character. Now the randomness is extremely important because in real world evolution, that randomness, those random mutations, are what allow entirely new traits to evolve and become part of a species. I mean, it's how dinosaurs grew wings. It's how, you know, fish turned into frogs or, or whatever. Um, so same thing here. We need that new randomness in order to make things better. So now we're going to prune. Oh, I turned too early. My bad. We're supposed to score and then prune. <laughs> well, look at that. The top one is 20% of the way there. So then this button here does all three. It'll score, prune, and breed. So I'll just run that, and now we have a new generation. We'll score it, uh, 23%. Prune it, breed it, score it, 30, prune. So now these are gonna be the parents. Breed, score, prune, breed, score, prune, breed. And as we get closer and closer, we need more mutations. Um, and so I'm going to go ahead and increase this to, say, 0.05. And I'm going to bump the population size up to 800. That'll make this happen a little quicker. So now we'll prune, breed, score, uh, 47. We're making it. Breed. And then I'm just going to click, click it on this. 53%, 60%, 67%, 67% still, 70%. 77, we're getting closer, 80, 83, 87, 90, so close, 93, 97, bingo, so it took us 31 generations to get here. So that's, that's the basic principles of how a genetic algorithm works. I'm sure there's other things that I missed, ways to make it more optimal. 100% this is not the best, but I thought it was a good demo. Um, if you use this in the real world, um, instead of just picking a text string, which is somewhat useless, you would be altering configuration data for how an algorithm is going to run, or in some cases you could actually be swapping out entire algorithms. So let's say you had you know, some algorithm that needed to do 20 separate steps, and for each one of those steps there were three different ways to do it. Well, you could use a genetic algorithm by swapping out each one of those 20 steps with one of the three algorithms to accomplish that step. You'd be able to find the most optimal route by doing this. And you would automate the scoring, pruning, breeding, run all the permutations with the parents. And then um, once you achieved the highest score, that's when you knew you had the right configuration or algorithm. Anyways, thanks. Hope you enjoyed this.